Aloha, my name is Vinnie DeWitt. I am the Northeast District Association Vice President for California Hawaii Elks. Today I'd like to talk to you about what it is to be an elk. I am an elk because I love to do things for the community. I like to give back. You know, I've I had a lot of support growing up by many individuals that has made me who I am today. And I feel like I need to give back. And giving back, Elks has been my perfect group. You know, the Elks, I mean, they believe in God, country, veterans, kids. I mean, those are all things that I hold dear. Um, to see what we do, I mean, it's hard to sit here and just tell you in one little segment of life of what we do as Elks. It's something you're going to have to experience for yourself. I could just tell you about the wonderful things that I feel that we do. But at the end of the day, I'm proud to be an Elk. It's one of the best thing I've ever done. Being an elk gives you a certain sense of pride when you go and you do these things for the community. And it's not a short-lasting thing where you just go and you do something and it gives you a, a few moments of good feelings about yourself. It's a long-lasting thing. I volunteered in Elkdom for seven years before I even became an elk. I worked at many events and I saw what was being done in the community and I had to be a part of it and I joined. I've been a part of Elks now for six years. I have done many, many things at a lodge level, at a district level. Um, What's most drawn to me is the fact that what we do in our community at our home lodge and making a difference and helping children, veterans. The reason why I became an elk is because I wanted to make a difference in other people's lives. And then I realized that I made a difference in my own life. I enjoy about being an elk is what I get to do in the community and how I can make a difference for others. There are so many things you can do in your community, uh, volunteer-wise, and being an elk is a great volunteer for your community. I started out volunteering, and I went and I helped out at different events, and I started enjoying what I did, and I started seeing more about what Elkton was about and what you do as an elk. You get to get involved in drug awareness if you want. Um, you can help veterans. I mean, there's so many rewarding things that you can do in Elkdom that gives you a certain amount of pride in what you do in your everyday life. I went to the Veterans Hospital. I took my daughter with me and her cousins, and we went around and we cooked for the veterans. And we, it was such a touching experience to see my daughter go around and talk with these veterans that were in a room that they probably won't ever get out of. And it just touches you right here to see the happiness that you bring them. And it, it's an unbelievable experience. And I was so proud of my daughter the day that that happened. It's like I seen a whole new light of who she really was and what kind of person she was going to turn into. And my daughter, she did a her senior project on Americanism. She went and did all the planning and she, at her high school, erected a flag and put up an, a testament to what it is to be an American. And I was, she's done so many things that I'm proud of her since I've been an elk, that being a part of Elkdom, I see how we affect kids in our community. One of the things I'm personally involved in at my lodge is drug awareness. And I've actually started working with our local sheriff. He has money that is earmarked for drug awareness. 
So we're trying to build a program in our county. We have three different areas of schools, and we're trying to get two officers to be involved, starting at an elementary level all the way through high school at each one of those areas and reach out to them. We've got Elks that are want to be a part of it. We've got people that have had drug histories that can really speak to what's going on. You know, we're not necessarily going to stop them from doing drugs because, you I mean, there's a little draw, but we're giving the seeds. We're planting seeds in their mind, the future that they will come out of that and say, you know what? That's not a life I want to live. And that's what we're after is in drug awareness, is to reach out and grab those kids and steer them away. We just got to give them the tools, the tools they need to make it through life and become a wonderful person. ENF. Elks National Foundation. It's an important part of Elkdom. It's a great part of Elkdom. All the lodges contribute to Grand Lodge and contribute to ENF. The money that comes back to the lodges from ENF comes in different forms. We get grants that can help the community. Each lodge is eligible for $16,000 in grants that can impact your communities. So let me tell you about my year. This year, I, being a state vice president for this district, I got to go around to all eight lodges. And I got to see the different lodges and how they interact and see how their pride is and what they do and every one of them is completely different and some of them were different experiences but at the end of the day this lodge is eligible for grants totaling in sixteen thousand dollars and that impact you can do in your community for peanuts there's really nothing that you have to really do that's incredible to achieve that that is what we're here for. We are here to help our community. You mean, you could go down and sit at the bar and drink and be silly or go anywhere and do anything and get self-gratification for yourself. But how many times in your life can you go someplace and do a selfless thing and help somebody and then at the end of the day, you feel good inside, and it's a never-ending. One of the real reasons of why I became an elk is once I started learning about what we do as elks, we have a major project. Major project, what that entitles is we have occupational therapists physical therapists, preschool vision screeners, speech language um, therapists, and they go out and they meet with kids on an individual basis and they help out in their current situation. And it is of no cost. It is free. California Hawaii Elks raises three and a half million dollars a year for a major project currently. And what we do is we try to go out into the community, find these people of need, and we do that through our local lodges. People can find us online and they can apply. Our major project is totally for kids. Everything about it is built around taking care of kids that need help and that are in need. The money we raise fully funds everything in the program and we as Elks we can get help as many people as we can as we can get brought in. The problem we have is not many people know what we do as Elks and in Major Project and how we go 
out into the community and help these kids that need help. One of the things I realized after becoming an elk, I started discovering things such as our major project. And our major project, it brings back to the community occupational therapy, physical therapist, pre-screened visions, and speech therapy. As an Elks, we raise three and a half million dollars a year for this project. And it's our major project. I learned more about it when I started going to state. And then you see the um, theme child for the first time and it touches you right here. I don't know of one person in that room that doesn't have a tear in their eye. When they see that child that we helped, it's just, it's unbelievable feeling. And then it makes you want to go home and find somebody that needs your help and that the help Elks can help. I want to tell you a story about when I was leading night. Um, we were in Anaheim, and they brought this child in that um, he w had some physical therapy. He had problems with his legs. They called that family up to the stage, and they brought him out a gift. And there was this John Deere tractor, and it was a pedal tractor. And they gave that gift to that little boy, and he climbed in that, and he rode it off the stage, and he was riding around the audience. And it was unbelievable because the major project chairman says, I don't think he's coming back. And to see a child that had a disability, was had could not walk, and we helped him with physical therapy to the point that that little boy could climb into that John Deere tractor and pedal it off the stage. It was unbelievable to see that. And we made a difference in those people's lives. You know, that day, they gave them a week at Disneyland. They gave them gifts, which would seem kind of weird to some people, but to me, it's like at that point... We had the opportunity to touch their lives and make them have a wonderful week. And just think about how much they had been through um, in dealing with the, their child's physical ailments to where we helped with that and then we moved them forwards and then gave them a joyous moment. And how much more can we do in one's life and take that home and just have that pride that we help those people with the money that we collect every year for the major project. Okay, we raised three and a half million dollars last year. Okay, every year we seem to raise more and more and more. That money, I mean, it's not like we just take that money and that's what we fund the program with. That money goes in and it's endowed. Um, California Hawaii Elks has about um, $56 million in doubt. That money funds the programs we do. That Our programs are not in jeopardy of failure because the people that started the programs in the 50s literally were, I mean, they're sharp people. They endowed money, so that would be a long-term program. So everything we do in uh, um, California, Hawaii Elks through major projects is paid for from the endowment. So we don't, there's never a chance of not paying for what we do. And the same thing happens at a Grand Lodge level. One of our major project programs is vision screening. And they try to set it up to where they go to a elementary school and they pre-screen the entire school when it was there. And every year or every other year, they find a child that if they hadn't been screened and hadn't caught it that early, they would be blind. It's amazing that we can go into a school 
and we can help these kids and ensure them a future where they're not going to have any eye trouble or catch eye problems early. Um, a lot of families, they don't have what it, they need for that. And we have that ability to give that to them at no charge. Another thing I'd love to talk to you about today is scholarships. Elks and scholarships, they go hand in hand. The Elk Scholarship Program is by far none, in my mind, the best. Elks is the second largest contributor of the nation on scholarships. You know, to kind of give you an idea of where we are in scholarships, it starts off at a lodge level. Most lodges give anywhere from two to four scholarships to each kid chosen. Everybody that applies, they can get a district scholarship, then it goes on to a state scholarship, and then it can go on to an ENF scholarship, and it can go all the way up to the top 10 girls, the top 10 boys at a Grand Lodge level. The highest scholarship you can get is $50,000. A full ride someplace. It's absolutely amazing. And it's just a matter of taking that extra time and filling out the paperwork. It teaches children to follow through in life. To get a scholarship with the Elks, you have to go through and you put in the things that you do for your community. You put in an essay. You tell about your future. You of things you want to be and to become. That's building a community leader. Right there starting off right out of high school. And that's what Elks is about. We want people to be involved in their community, whether it's scholarship, supporting veterans, drug awareness, just being there for your community. The Elks support scouting because Scouting represents building of character. And we want to see strong character of community service, helping others, and taking care of yourself. And scouting promotes all of those things. It builds a young individual, whether it's a girl in Girl Scoutings or a boy in Boy Scouting. It's creating a strong personality that can take care of themselves and go through life. We are a support group for scouting. Um, we try to adopt a scout troop or a Girl Scout troop. And we try to support them, giving them a place that they can come and meet. Um, when they have an Eagle Scout come up, we will go there. And we give them a flag and a plaque because we appreciate what they are trying to do in their community and better themselves. So in that process, we try to help as many scout troops as we can. Um, a lot of the lodges, they have um, the LDS church has a lot of scouts. We work in conjunction with the LDS church in my own lodge, we have a pancake breakfast, and we donate the lodge to the LDS troop. And they come in, and they raise money and do what they need for their scouting. We also try to contribute to their scouting. What's special to me is the veterans. The veterans half, you know, we give money and we give it to the VA hospitals. The Elks 
started the first VA hospital. And I, I just think that's so neat. Um, what we're so involved and concerned about our veterans. And that's important to me. I, I love the fact that I can go and have lunch with the veterans at the VA hospital, at a lodge. We'll have events where we have the veterans for lunch and dinner. Every year in my lodge, we do a Thanksgiving dinner and we feed about 80 people free of charge, open for a donation. And then the money we get from that donation, we raise about $700. That money goes back into our veterans fund. And we, at Christmas, December 22nd, my birthday, matter of fact, we put together about 26 baskets and we give breakfast, lunch, and dinner to a veteran and we take it to their house. I am part of the guy that calls up on the phone and says, hey, would you like a turkey or would you like a ham? And some of the guys, I talk to them every year and it's funny, they'll launch into this story about what they did in, in their military service. And it's amazing to hear the story. Even sometimes I've heard the story three or four times, but it's absolutely amazing to just listen to and take that time and just partake in the moment and live with them. And it just, it just touches you and makes you feel part of the community of paying back. That's what we're here. To be an elk is to be part of the community. And you're giving your time, but it gives you back way more than what you give to it. And that's why I become an elk. <laughs>